Welcome back. We're going to look at keystyle 2 now. Before you start this, you need to be really confident with quadratic equations. That means you should be able to factorize easily and you should also be able to, for example, solve using the formula if needed. We're going to start with another GCC topic, so it might be a little bit familiar, where we've got simultaneous equations. So a simultaneous equation means you've got two equations. So for example, here, this is your first one and your second one just like before. However, now the second one is a quadratic equation. So you can see it's got a power two. So what you do is you take the linear equation. So let's be really clear here. This guy here with not just x's and y's without power twos, so that's the linear equation. Okay. This one here with the squares, with the little power twos at the top, this is the quadratic equation. What you want to do is you want to take your linear equation and you want to rearrange it for one of the letters. So you need to make, for example, in this situation, we make y the subject. So I need to have y equals 2 and something in terms of x. So I'm going to put the plus x. See, that was a plus x over here. And I'm going to change that into a minus. So now I have a y equals 2 equation or I have y as the subject. Okay, so what you do now is you take your second equation here, okay, where we have a y here, you're going to replace it using this equation here. So this equation is going in here. So we're going to have x squared plus, I'm going to open a bracket because there was two things here, 3 minus x, close bracket because you see that little power 2, equals to 5. So Let's speed this up a little bit. I'm going to multiply these brackets out. First, we're going to copy the x squared underneath. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times minus x, that will make a minus, is minus 3x. Minus x times plus 3, minus 3x. And here, uh, minus times minus will make a plus, and x times x is x squared equals to 5. So I'm going to start adding my like terms now. So it means the same things, I'm going to put them together. So for example, here, this x squared will go with this x squared. So I'll say I've got 2x squared. The next one will be the numbers. I've got a minus 3 here and a minus 3 here. That's a minus 6x. And there's the plus 9 on its own. To solve a quadratic equation, you want to have everything, the x squared, the x's and the numbers onto one side. That's where it's a little bit different from the linear equations you're probably more used to. So that 5 has to come over here. So I've got the plus 9 and right now it's a positive 5, you can see there was no minus. So when it comes over it changes to a negative 5. And these two are now like terms which means the 5 the minus 5 and the 9 can go together. They can be simplified. So I've got 2x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals to 0. So you see now I've got a 0 on one side and everything else to the other side. Now, to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to divide by 2 because I'm looking at my coefficients, my numbers in front of the x's and the x squared. I'm saying I've got a 2, a minus 6, and a 4. They can all be divided by 2. So that would be minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. So now I'm down to my quadratic equation, and this is where it becomes important that you know how to factorize or put the brackets in. I want to multiply for 2. So I want to multiply for this final number here and add up for the minus 3. So to multiply for 2 and add for minus 3, I'm going to need minus 2 times minus 1. Minus 2 times minus 1 will be plus 2, and minus 2 subtract minus 1 will be minus 3. So my two answers will be minus 2 and minus 1 equals 0. Now from here, I made each bracket equals to 0. And so the answer over here on the left will be the minus 2 will come over to the other side and it will be 0 plus 2, which is of course just 2. And over here I'll have x is 0 plus 1, 
which is of course x equals to 1. So I've got two answers from the quadratic equation, that's really important. So I've got x equals to 2 and x equals to 1. To get the y's, I'm going to go all the way up to the very first equation where I made y the subject. I'm going to paste this twice. I'm going to have it one side on the left and one side on the right. And the reason is I'm going to, once I'm going to substitute on the left, I'm going to substitute x is equal to 2. And on the right, I'm going to substitute x is equal to 1. So here I'm going to have y equals 3 minus x or minus 2 y equals 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. Now here I'm going to have y equals to 1, oh sorry, y equals to 3 minus 1, y equals to 2. So those are my two solutions. If it's an equation of a point of intersection, for example, between a curve or a circle and a straight line, you might want to write them as coordinates, which would be like x, y, x, y. You'll get a little bit more into that when we start talking about the geometry. Let's have a look at a different one. So we're going to go a little bit faster now. I'm going to go straight to my linear equation and I'm going to make x the subject in this situation. So I'm going to move the minus 3y to the other side and it will become positive. I'm going to substitute that into my quadratic equation here. 3y plus 10, all squared because a little squared here plus y squared is equal to 80. Multiply that bracket out. So that will be 9y squared plus 30y plus another 30y plus 10 plus y squared equals to 80. Adding up my like terms, 9y squared and y squared is 10y squared. Plus 30 plus 30 is 60y. Plus 10 equals to 80. Bring the 80 to the other side. 10y squared plus 60y. And 10 minus 80 will be minus 70 equals to 0. I can simplify this one down by doing divide by 10. So I've got y squared plus 6y minus 7 equals to 0. So to factorize this one, I'm going to look for two numbers that multiply for minus 7 and add for plus 6. So I'm thinking 1 times minus 7. Oh, no, that's not going to work because 1 minus 7 would be minus 6. So minus 1 times 7, which would be minus 1 plus 7, would be 6. So two brackets will be y minus 1, y plus 7 equals 0. Making this equals to 0 will give me y equals 1. And this one equals to 0 will be y minus 7. I'm going to take my page and cut it in half now. I'm going back to my original equation here. I'm going to substitute it in twice, once for each of my answers. So x equals to 3 times 1 plus 10. x equals to 13 here. x equals to 3 times minus 7 plus 10. 3 times minus 7 is minus 21 plus 10. x is minus 11. Last one is a tiny bit trickier because you have this xy term here. So the steps are the same. Take the linear equation and make x or y the subject. So you're going to write this x plus 4. Substitute that in. So 2x squared plus xy. So now I've got to substitute the y here and here in two places. Like before it was only one place, x plus 4. So that's the first y plus it's y squared, so x plus 4 squared equals to 8. Okay, so we're going to multiply this out super fast. 2x squared plus x squared plus 4x. So that's multiplying out this first bracket here. Plus x plus 4, 
x plus 4 equals to 8. I can already tidy this up a little bit as 3x squared plus 4x plus x squared plus 4x plus another 4x plus 16. And I'm already going to bring the 8 from this side over here. So I've got nothing on the other side. Okay, so x squared, so let's find them. 3x squared and x squared here. That's going to give me 4x squared. I've got plus 4, plus 4, 8, plus another 4, 12, plus 12x. And for numbers, I've got 16 minus 8, which is plus 8. Make this a little bit easier for myself by putting a divide by 4 and making this x squared plus 3x plus 2. Factorizing, multiply for 2, add for 3, so it's going to be 2 and 1. So my two answers are minus 2 and minus 1. Straight back to the linear equation. And the first y will be from here, minus 2 plus 4, y equals to 2. And the second one will be using minus 1, minus 1 plus 4, y equals to 3. So that's key skill two finished. It's a super important fundamental algebra skill that you can be asked also later on when you are looking at geometry. We're looking at circles and straight lines intersecting. So very, very useful. I'll see you guys in key skill three. Bye for now.